Okay, well, I'm going to attempt to put rings and stuff in this Commando 8 wheel horse. I've never done it. A little nervous. I got the head off, and I'm getting ready to take the motor out. And hopefully, get it fixed. Okay, the motor is off. And... I wrote down everything where all the wires went. So, there's the starter generator. And there she is. Ooh, it's nasty, too. So, I guess I'll tear into it. Stay tuned. Maybe I better uh, drain the oil out first. I'm getting ahead of myself here, and that is some nasty looking oil, too. There it is. There's the piston and everything. It actually, everything looks pretty good. I ended up having to take the carburetor off and everything. And over here, you can see that take all that off to access the valves. I don't know if that's a good picture. But anyhow, so far so good. I hope I don't mess nothing up. I don't know what that is. That's weird. But none of the gears look stripped or nothing. It looks in great shape, to be honest. Alright. Okay, I got the piston pulled. Um, I really don't know what I'm looking at. I mean, the, the rings don't look bad, but <clears throat> in all the videos I saw, one of these is supposed to be an oiler ring, and I don't see one. <laughs> I mean, I don't see where it's at, unless it's disintegrated. hold this up to the light. I mean, it, it doesn't have one, or else it's all gone. Like I said, I, I'm not sure what I'm looking at here. Anyhow, this is nice. The bore is nice and smooth all the way down. No problems there. There's the I took the cover off for the valves. Showed you that. So I'll look at this again. I don't know. Okay. This, it's like the oil was built into the piston. I didn't see any of this, anything like this on YouTube. And this is a two-piece. That's the oiler, I guess. All the other pistons I saw in the kits didn't, I mean, they were solid like. Well, more research. Oh, yeah. I broke two of the rings getting them out. I have to find a different way to do that. Well, I'm going to pull this thing, see what's behind it. So I had to make up a uh, sort of a homemade puller. So, I don't know how it's going to work. Hopefully, it took me forever to drill these holes through here. So, we'll see how it turns out, I guess. Success! It took a little banging, but it came off. I was just wanting to check this seal or bearing or whatever it is. It looks okay, as far as I know. Anyhow... I wanted to see what was behind there. I wonder what's behind there. Ingenuity. Well, one neat discovery I've made, which I've been trying to figure it out, is the timing marks. After some research and all that, 
and cleaning this engine off because it was caked with tons of stuff. I noticed this little access plate that pops out. Well, when this is on, I don't know if you can see it, but there's the marks. There's an S and a T. And I think when it's a top dead center, the S is shown from some of the videos I've seen. I have to look at it again, but I got this all cleaned up. I'm just waiting on the parts again. Speaking of parts, lots of them to put back together. I hope I can remember. Whew. I started cleaning the frame up a bit so it'd be easier to work with. I'm half tempted to strip it all down and paint it, but I just want to see if I can get it going first.